Hello friends. If you have water turtles as pets, I'm sure you know that they need two kinds of lighting. A UVB or ultraviolet type B light to help them process vitamin D and a heating lamp to help them be more active throughout the day. I was searching for a set of lamps of this kind, the prices, but I found they are extremely expensive. For example, a UVB bulb on its own it costs around $25. A halogen bulb, common one, can cost about $2. A double lamp like this one can cost you about $30. And two reflector domes like these can cost you around $60. Additionally, the fixtures to hold these lamps onto your aquarium can cost you another $12 each. So, to be able to install two lights, a UVB light and a halogen light, I would have to invest a total of $57 to $111. Too much just for lighting. For this reason, I decided to make my own set of lights using cheap materials. After going through YouTube, watching what I could find there, I noticed that some of these sets of lights are very insecure. They can fall in the water and kill my turtles. Others are sort of complicated. So I decided to copy a design I believe is compact and efficient. In this video I'll show you how I made it. Let's go and watch the video. In the description I'll leave a list of the materials I used to create this set of lights. Hmm? You will have to modify that list according to the materials you have available where you live. Hmm? The important thing is we need a housing for the lamps to keep them well fixed there. We need a box transparent box that will ensure we have the right distance between the lights and the basking place where the turtles are. We also need a control center to keep all our wires well tucked in there and ensure they don't get wet. And all this fixed, well fixed onto the aquarium so we can ensure it doesn't fall in. The good thing about this lighting set compared to those that you buy in the, in the market, is this lighting set you can modify it, you can adapt it, you can change it to your needs. According to the, the box you might find, according to the size of your aquarium, everything you can modify it. Hmm? Now let's go and see the details of how it's built. The first thing we have to do is the housing for the lamps or the bulbs. This is a PVC tube, 110 millimeter PVC tube, that would be about 48 or four and a half inches. Hmm? First of all, we, the size of the tube, the length of it, will depend on the box we can find. And of course the aquarium, size of our aquarium. Hmm? And the, the tube, the housing of the lamps, must fall perfectly on top of the bottom of the, the box. So it doesn't fall into the box. And we cut the top, the bottom of the box, we cut a hole in it to let the light through. Hmm? So the size of this will depend on the box you have. Then the tube, what we do, we cut it all along a straight line along the length of the tube on one side and on the other side, perfectly in line with this side, with this cut, leaving two exact arches. One arc on this side and one arc exactly the same on the south side. Here we cut it and on the other side we heat it with our blowtorch. You can heat it with other things but it's preferable to use a blowtorch because the blowtorch will let you heat up only this section of the tube. We don't want to heat up this part or it will go, it will deform. We only want to heat up this part so that we can get hold of the cut and pull it open and then we pull it open on the floor and we will produce two arches just like here. So we don't have to cut it in the middle. We have two arches united at the middle, flected in that part. After we have cut the pipe and formed the two arches, 
We must cut out a groove here, a slot, where we will fit in our end caps. Hmm? Then we have to uh, sandpaper the ends here, clean them, put adhesive, and stick a full end cap on one side and half of an end cap on the other. And on the other side, all the contrary. When we have half an end cap, we put a, a full end cap. And when we have a full end cap, we put half an end cap. Now we stuck the PVC end cap on the tube. It's time to put our lamp holder here. What we need is a lamp holder that has rings. So that the rings press on the PVC and hold the lamp in place. Huh? We're going to use these same rings to define exactly where we're going to cut into the PC to be able to let the lamp inside through the PVC. So we place it as far down as possible, not up at the top because it'll heat up the PVC too much. We put it as low as possible. And here we mark with a pencil where we're going to cut it out. And we cut it out with one of these hole cutters. Once we've cut that out, we will have to place the whole housing on the plastic box we bought, as we have it here. We place the end caps inside the box, but mounted on the end part of the box. Hmm? Now, as the box ends about halfway up the end cap, we're going to have to cut out the box also so it will fit the ring inside and for that we use a bigger hole cutter both the UVB light and the <coughs> uh, halogen light had about 25-40 watts and can even be higher wattage than that and that creates quite a bit of heat inside the PVC that might soften the PVC so it's a good idea to uh, insulate the inside of the PVC with some material like cow wool or something equivalent hmm? as I show you here. Then we put three bits of lines of silicone there down the middle and over here to fix it in place. Then we put the aluminum now we we have to fix some aluminum sticky aluminum paper there to fix it in place That way we protect the PVC from the heat. Hmm. Putting aluminum foil over the cow wool not only is useful as a reflective material to take the warmth and the light onto the turtles, but also protects the cow wool from breaking up and falling onto the turtles. Finally, control center where I have two buttons separating the two lights. So I can put one on and or off according to need. And I have used a, a computer cable here to be able to detach the lighting system and take it off the aquarium without dragging a cable with me. Hmm? I have to detach it fr first from the plug and then detach it here so no one gets And how I fix how I made this, you can find it there.
Okay, and this is how it works. First one, and then the other one. Here you can see my set of lights installed, just above the basking spot of both aquariums. Now, when I turned on the lights, the turtles didn't run to find a spot under the lights. No, these turtles are curious, but cautious, and might take some time in figuring out if it's worth the risk to jump out of the water. We must understand, they have been in the dark for a few years. Once they get used to the lights and start sunbathing, I'll upload a video update in the channel's community tab. So you can see if they like my setup or if they kicked it off the aquarium. In fact, these turtles need other improvements. So I'll be showing you how that goes in the near future. Well, that's it. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please remember give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell if you want to be notified about new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.